Hey there. Square aspect ratio. Oh god. Oh god, what happened to you? You're you're all you're all proportional. Oh uh, you were so young. Oh god. Now we got this 3-2 aspect ratio, which is actually true to the Game Boy screen. What is happening? Oh, I think this is actually officially the first death of the Nuzlocke, folks. We're gonna have to say goodbye to square aspect ratio. But don't fret, we can still carry on without it, because square aspect ratio is not a Pokemon. Alright. Welcome to the official start of Pokemon Fire Red. Okay, we got we better start now. Uh... Let's actually hit the A button, whatever that is. Is it not any of these? It's... starts... Okay, A, good, good. Yes, <laughs> Super Spaz here. Hi, that was quite an intro. Um, we are gonna start a new game, because last part was part zero, which was the intro, and all the rules. I could explain the rules again if you want, but I'll probably just link them in the bottom, because I've actually solidified them all. Uh, I have dice rules. Should I just get into that now? Oh, fuck it, let's do it. Alright, so anyway, the rules! Part 2. Um, <laughs> the basically, I went over the first part of rules. There's some clarifications on the first dice rules. For rule number one, uh, I believe it is kill a member of your party. It says in the rule thing that I have control over who is dead. I'm gonna make that up to the dice as well, because after all, this is a dice lock. My decisions should be left up to the dice. Uh, how the dice works, you may not see a random number generator on my screen, and that is because it is here in my hand. Uh, it's on my phone. I'm recording Pokemon full screen, so recording a random number generator on the side would be kind of wonky. So, um, I'm just, I have it in my hand. You gotta trust me. Why would I go making up numbers? Uh, I want to have fun with this Nuzlocke. I want to see where it goes, and getting random shit rolls is just gonna be part of the game. So, that's the first thing. Uh, the second thing is number six, I believe, is you roll twice, and if you roll two sixes, you get to re resurrect a dead Pokemon. Now, uh, I have 12 rolls now, so I'm rolling out a 12 for the first roll, and if I get a 6 on that, then I'm gonna shrink it down so I roll a 6-sided dice, or rather, out of one of the 6 of a random number generator, and if I get another 6, then I re resurrect a Pokemon, because that seems just... that's as likely as it will be in the original rules, yet I will still have less likelihood of getting a 6 in the first place. Okay, so yes, I'm ranting, I know, bear with me, I have 7 dice rules to explain. I also clarified some rules regarding legendaries and, uh, something about healing. I don't think I did a healing rule. I guess I did technically do a healing rule. It's like, don't be a dick about healing, uh, but you can just read that in the comments. The 7 through 12 dice rule. So number 7, I believe, is... God damn it, I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> I have to... I'm gonna post a Word document on the Nuzlocke forum if you can. Some sort of attachment. Just basically explain the rules. I have to go and review them and memorize them, but they shouldn't be... Well, they actually will be, huh? They will be pertinent as parts. Okay, I'll be right back then. You know, I totally forgot the beauty of Camtasia is that I can actually, like, have the rules recorded here on screen if I want to. Uh, so yeah, the new rules here, uh, four, four through five, is, uh, you may catch as many Pokemon as you want in order to get the rewards from Professor's aids. However, any Pokemon caught in violation of rule two or the dice roll must be released. Uh, that's rule number four. Uh, rule number five, you may catch as many legendaries as you like, provided they are the first Pokemon you encounter or the dice allow it, but you can only use one. This means if the legendary you use dies, you cannot use any more legendaries. And six is, of course, your heal spam rule that it stems from my last Nuzlocke, but if you want to watch that, that is totally up to you. Alright, so yes, there's the main page. Uh, okay, clarifications, I already went over. Alright, seven. Ah, here we go. I got a couple suggestions in the comments, which, I mean, I didn't expect, like, a full-blown, like, everybody's rushing to make up these rules. I mean, it's up to me to make these rules. Alright, first rule, seven. The next area is locked. Does lock locked? Haha, <laughs> with the word locked. This means no Pokemon can ever be caught there, and, as if to rub it in your face, there is no running from wild Pokemon in a certain area. Basically, the next area after a rival or gym battle that I happen to roll a seven, that rule is in effect. Uh, number eight is, I kind of made these last rules also to mirror each other, in a sense, um, so that it's like they're parallel. Uh, the next area, so, you may go back to any previous route you have access to and catch one Pokemon from that area. It can be any Pokemon you want, but you only get one catch. So that's kind of a bummer. No, it's not. Wait, that's not a bummer. That's a rule eight. That's a good cut. That's a w bummer. Ha, huh, I'm just something right now. Something not not in my right mind. Um, very tired. Very tired. 
<laughs> you may go back to a previous route. So basically, it's my rule from the last Nuzlocke that I created uh, that allows me to go back and catch any Pokemon I want from a previous route. Mirrors number seven, where I can't go back to a previous or uh, next route. Number nine, withdraw your weakest Pokemon from the PC and put it on your team. This Pokemon cannot be removed from your team unless it is killed. If this Pokemon dies, it takes another random Pokemon from the PC with it. This is kind of to ensure that you don't just go randomly killing the fuck off of that weak Pokemon that you picked up because, I mean, there'd be no spirit, there'd be no sport, and you actually have to have some risk here. Uh, and then 10 to mirror that, roll 10-sided dice. The number rolled is the number of free rare candies you receive to level up your team. So it's kind of random, I could get between 1 and 10 uh, rare candies. You cannot level up your Pokemon past the highest level of on your team, however, unless all team members are the same level. That's the caveat of the rare candy rule, just so I don't get a really overpowered Pokemon and make it kind of like a solo run deal. I don't see any problem with that, but, you know, just for the spirit of having everyone be equal. Okay, 11. You must fight the next gym leader or rival without healing in battle. Wah, wah, wah. That's gonna suck for me, because I love heal spamming, uh, and it's gonna tear me to shreds. Uh, but 12. You get a do-over token. If a battle does not go the way you had planned, you can reload the save and try again with no consequences. So I actually get to go back in time. If I ever roll a 12, I basically get a counter. I get one token to redo any battle I want. So that might come in handy if I wind up getting totally trounced, and that is very possible in this Nuzlocke because I am playing it semi-blind. I know half of the game. I'm probably going to run through the rest of it on another file, just so I know what I'm getting up against. But otherwise, that's it. These are the rules. Nothing to it. Uh, so, as I was saying, let's get started in this new game. Gosh darn. Alright, we don't need to explain how the buttons work. I know how they work. Yes, 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 in the world which you were about to enter. You, If you want to watch me do this voiceover, you can just go to the last part. I'm not going to read it all. I'm sorry. I will give Professor Oak a new voice, because I thought about this long and hard, and I know exactly who to make him. Oh, well, hello there, you young whippersnapper. Glad to meet you. My name is Bill Professor Oak Cosby. Welcome to the world of the Poke Man with the Pokey and the Man. My name is a Professor Bill Oak, Bill Oak Cosby. Professor Bill Oak Cosby. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. Now, this world is inhabited by far and wide by creatures called Pokemon with the poisons and the psychics and the grasses and the zips and so many pop. So for some people, the Pokemon are the pests. Others use them for battling with the Pokeballs and the biting and the kicking and the flaming flow throwing and the... As for me though, I, I study Pokemon as a profession. Uh, now, it's very interesting, but first let me tell you a little, let me tell a little about yourself. Tell me a little bit about yourself, little boy. Now tell me, are you a boy or are you a girl? I'm a boy, man. Let's begin with your name, shall we? What's your name, young man? Alright, I'm just going to keep it the same, pretty much exactly as the last one. Uh, alright, awesome. Whoa, shit, I fucked up. Damn it, fucked up again. Okay, there we go. Spaz, as always. Right, so your name is the Sims Observer about. Yes, it is. <laughs> now, well, this is my grandson. He's been your rival since you both were babies. Uh, what was his name now? Uh, Dozen Tales Agastaya. I don't even know. Is that a reference to something? Uh, I'm gonna name a new name, of course. You already know what the name is if you watch Part Zero. It is Dick Butt. Oh my. <laughs> it won't fit. So it's just Dick Butt. Like a, like the interjection butt. Uh, was it Dick Butt now? I'm pretty sure it was Puddin' Pot, but I'll go with that. That's alright. I remember now. His name's Dick Butt. Sprouts. You, a very own Pokemon legend, is about to unfold. It's a world of dreams and the adventures with the Pokemon and the pixels and the going down to size. And now we're here. How to do the bop. All right. <laughs> I'm not a good person. Shit, I left the rare candy cheat on. Uh, I'm not supposed to have done that. Because uh, that's basically how I'm going to supply myself with rare candies is giving, getting them from the PC. But uh, I have to disable that. So I will I will see you in a second. All right, Zip Zap Zooty Bop. We are back here. Let us withdraw our potion. My gosh. I don't want to miss out on that. Uh, I will turn on the rare candy cheat later. Yes, yes, yes. I know I'm cheating. But hey, how else am I supposed to get rare candies if I roll whatever number 10? That's the one. Spaz. Oh, I'm sorry. You have a voice. Your mother. Spaz. You should put these on before you go on your adventure. And I got the running shoes from Mim. 
All right, let's let's just run then. Just chill. Running is fine. And as always, the first thing we do is run right to the grass because we want to play some Pokemon. Down there, way down, Whippersnapper, don't you go down, we do what to do. You gotta go back to my lab, it's unsafe to wild the Pokemon live in the tall grass. You need your Pokemon for your protection. I know, come with me with the footsteps and the walking and the mailbox with the circular windows and the zip zop zoomity bop. Ah, oh, goddamn Professor Oak. Okay. All right, we're gonna have Dick Butt, Dick Butt have the same voice. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Dick Butt, do I let me think now? Oh, that's right, I told you to come. Now, just wait now. Here, Spaz, here are three Pokemon here. Ha ha! These Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs here. When I was a young man, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. But now in my old age, I have only these three left. So zip zap, you could have one. Go out and shoot it out. Hey, Gramps, no fair. What about me? Be patient, Dick Butt. You can have one, too. Zip, zap, zip. Okay, so, uh, in the comments, I discovered that people have a preference between Snivy and Torchic. Snivy? No, not yet. Hold on. Torchic. And I got a, got a lot of good reasons to pick either. Snivy in this hack, I believe, is Grass Dragon, and there's a little secret that you can get 10 minutes in with Snivy, but I don't know what it is, I've never found it, I have no fucking clue what the developer Doesn't is talking about. Oh, that's why Doesn't's Gary's name, because Doesn't's the fucking hack creator. Stupid. Okay, but we're definitely not going with Piplup, because I already done Water Starters. As much as I love Water Starters, gotta abandon it. So, what we're gonna do, in the spirit of a dice lock, is leave the decision up to a dice. And of the other reason I should pick Torchic is because I picked it by accident last time and it was meant to be, it was fate. So, here's the deal. One is Snivy, two is Torchic. Let's see what we get. Two. We're going with Torchic. As much as I hate to leave you behind, Snivy, I gotta go with Torchic. Alright, Torchic is my choice. It's very easy to raise. Yes, I'm going with Torchic. Yes, it is very energetic. Alright, Prof Oak. You with your weird eyebrows that are kind of on the side of your head. Yes, of course I have to give a nickname to Torchic. Alright, sorry for all you Snivy fans out there. But Torchic does actually get the higher end of the, uh... Because he's going to pick Piplup now, but I get the advantage because I have a fighting type move, so... Anyway, since we're going with the military theme again with our starter, uh, I, I thought of the perfect fucking name. Uh, Colonel... Hold the phone. Nope, nope, no, 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 not the S yet. Because, you know, KFC and all, and... Oh, I can't fit that, can I? Hold the phone, hold the phone. I'll just not do the spot. How many spaces is Sanders? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm terrible. Colonel Sanders, the, uh, the fucking Torchic. That's a little sad. Colonel Sanders, all right. Yeah, that'll, that'll fit. <laughs> it's a female, too, that's rare. That's good, though. Colonel Sanders, fucking shit. Redonkulous. Hey, we got our Pokemon, so let's check what she is, Colonel Sanders. And you start with an item, what is it? Tell me. Adamant? Oh, you, you, you perfect, you perfect little, I love you. You have Blaze, which I guess isn't great, but hey, you know, Adamant on the first fucking go, and female, I can breed you. Oh, man, I really hope we don't fucking roll a one. <laughs> that would just ruin my day. All right, all right, dig butt, let's bring it. Now wait now, Spaz, let's check out a Pokemon, hey. Come on, I'll take ya. Alright, let's not lose. For the love of God. I don't want to lose this shit. That's a good fucking first first draw. Uh Alright, Stickbutt's battling. Rival Dickbutt, send out Piplup. Let's kick this Piplup in the butt. Cause we have to roll immediately after we fight a rival. Oh for Peach Snakes now, so pushy as always, a ship's out. Spaz and Zubater, you've never heard of a Pokemon battle before, have you now? Of course you never heard of one. A Pokemon battle is when the trainers pit their Pokemon against each other with the kicking and the scratching, like I said. And the trainer with the other trainer's Pokemon faint by lowering their HP to zero with the green and the yellow and the red and the beam bop, beam bop. But rather than talking about it, you'll learn more from experience. Try battling and see for yourself. Alright, Torchic, let's scratch him to death. Growl's only going to lower his attack, so that's really not going to help us much. Unless he kicks our head. Ah, we got a potion. We'll be fine. Son of a bitch. He's tough. Inflicting the damage on the foe is the key to any battle. All right, so we might want to growl. Considering the fact that we do have an Orenberry. I don't know if he does. He might. We can just growl spam, and then once our Orenberry kicks in, we just kind of kick his ass. A lower in the foe stats will put you at an advantage, Zipzah. 
Alright, growl, growl, growl. Get his attack down two stages so he can't do shit. Uh, pound. Alright, he does two health per shot, and now we are back up to... What are we at here, buddy? Uh, pull. Okay, perfect. Awesome scratch. Kill, kill, kill. Die, die, die. It's just gonna pound me, isn't it? You silly dick butts. It's faster. That's a little upsetting. Alright, fine. Yeah, the reason Adamant's so good, I mean, you, mo you might be thinking to yourself, this is a Gen 3 game, Adamant's kind of, eh, for Torchic, because he, he could be mixed if you wanted. Not true! Torchic, actually, the physical special split is included in this hack, so Torchic is totally going to be fucking a beast. Colonel Sanders, I am fucking glad to have you on the team. Let's just hope the roll doesn't destroy this all for us. What? Unbelievable, I'm the coolest! What are you doing? I picked the wrong Pokemon! Hey, sick, we got $80 to Poke Dollars. Zip zap, excellent dominant bop. If you win, you earn the prize money and your Pokemon will grow. Battle each other trainers and make your Pokemon strong. Sweet. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon battle to toughen it up. Spaz, Gramps, smell you later. I'm the coolest. Okay, we gotta roll right now. So, this will be probably the last thing that happens. Uh, provided Professor Oak doesn't have anything else to say. Damn it. I always go to the wrong app. Okay. 1 through 12. Let's generate this thing. 9. What is 9? It's a bad roll. I know that. Oh, no, motherfucker. That's the... Wait, that's the take the weakest Pokemon out of your box rule. I can't do that. So I guess I have to roll again? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, fuck. 8. Okay, that's more like it. That's the... That's not the rare candy rule, but that's the... You can go back to any previous route. Now, see, some of these rules don't work on the first go... Which is why I kind of had trouble with them. But hey, you know, I mean, killing off your only Pokemon would be kind of a shitty rule, too. Uh, damn. I don't know. Eights, yeah, eights go back to any previous place to catch another Pokemon and get another. But I haven't discovered any yet, except here. And unless I get another guy, I can roll one more time. Just for the hell of it. Eight again. <laughs> okay, let's... Two! Two! I think that is catch... That is catch, um... That's a problem. Like, I was trying to balance these rules. You can try to balance them for me if you want. I think they're relatively balanced just at the beginning. Like, a few of them aren't going to work. Like, you just saw. Like, it's fucking 8 and 9. Uh, yeah, because 9, I know, is the definitely the one where you... Because uh, 10 is the one where you level. 9 is the take the weakest Pokemon out of the box. Uh, but yes, let's talk to Professor Oak, see what he say. has to say. Spiles, this is a race your Pokemon, young Pokemon, by making it battle, zip zop. That's a battle to grow. Okay, we got it. And that was a fast forward. Sometimes that'll happen. Rarely, but it will. Okay, so I think that's done with the parts. I believe number two is a... I think it's catch two Pokemon on the next route. Which is damn good. Oh good, you and your Pokemon are looking great. Take care now. Alright, so... We're done. We did the first part, we got through the first battle, and we got a fucking slap-happy, butt-smacking good deal on this Torchic. Uh, I'm gonna check what Rule 2 is real quick. Yep, Rule 2 is exactly what I thought it was. Catch two Pokemon in the next new area, and that won't count until we deliver his parcel. So next time, we're gonna deliver- I'm not counting Pokemon catching starting until I actually have Pokeballs to physically catch them, that's fucking bullshit. Um, so we get two Pokemon on this next route, that's glorious. Um... I mean, yeah, so, I mean, these dice talk rules, granted, are, ap like, ripe for change, so if you want to change them now would be a good time in the beginning. Uh, some of them don't work in the beginning, but that's okay. We will definitely get used to that later in the game. So, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Tell me what you think of the layout and all that stuff, and thank you. Later.